Monday, but it is Monday. It is a glorious Monday. Beautiful, wonderful, magnificent, <laughs> epic day. For today, I say goodbye to the purgatory that is incredible. We are closing that chapter, hopefully for good. Yep. So I will no longer be an employee of the Incredible Pizza Company, and I couldn't be happy. You're going to have to wear hot chef uniforms now. You know, there's good and bad with every job. <laughs> and you never know. It's going to be interesting because we talked previously about how we feel like we're able to more regulate our body temperature no. without having all of the, you know, other well, crap in there. I'll get to find out. I know I had less body fat, so it may not bother me as much. Enjoy my nerves. Um, I know that the, the chili kitchen in Incredible Pizza is now an issue, whereas when I went to work there, I didn't care how cold it was, it didn't bother me. But now, yeah, if it's if it's like 40 degrees all day, eventually wearing a little paper bones, get to hang it. Yeah. And, and, and I prefer to have a coat on. And so, I'm There's not going to no have that in this kitchen. There's no open option. But, so, we're going we're to find out just how well I have adapted to the heat. Yeah, because you're about to be in front changes. of the grill, like, non-stop, huh? Because I used to hate it. I, I, I mean, the heat. Just the heat. I love working a grill. I even like running a charbroiler, but a 500 degree charbroiler, standing over it for six or eight hours. We'll take care of this. You feel cooked, I guess. Thank you. So, yeah. It's exciting. It's good stuff. So today you will say goodbye to your old life. Yep. And tomorrow you will say hello to your new Actually, life. I'm hoping to get done in time. So around two each, come over and see if I can even fill up my paperwork today. You bring them all in. Oh, yeah. It's all in my purse. Okay. Your man purse. purse. Your man purse. It's okay. No judgment. So yeah, he's going to come up to my work, hopefully, and finish paperwork, maybe get your badge, and then tomorrow, woohoo, 6 a.m. to 2, something. We will be getting up at the gorgeous butt crack of dawn at 4 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I don't think dawn gets up better. No, I don't think so either. I'm pretty sure we're the only ones. The universe will be in bed still. Yep. She'll be like, oh, see you later. Yep. And she's cuddled the bed. Ooh. That was weird driving. I know. I kind of got, got confused on what I'm doing. Oh, okay. So, yeah. I was wondering. So I zoomed around some people so I could come off. Yeah, I'm sure they Karma. Good morning. I'm, yeah. I'm sure they deserved it, or I do. One or the other. <laughs> anyway, so. goes around, comes around. So how was our eating this weekend, Penny? Horrible, horrible. It was? Yep, I snuck away and had ice cream last night. I'm gonna suffer from my headache. Yep. Gained one pound for it, too. Well, you deserved it. Uh, one ice cream food sandwich, food. one deserved pound. It. Yep, that's what I said. You were willing to do I that. know it was not a one pound ice cream sandwich. It was I a little bit of bread, probably. Yeah, but somehow that... But. I'm sure that there was enough toxins and chemicals in it that my body went into, oh crap, bro. So, yeah. Yeah, last night we had a storm run through, and both of us, at various times of the night, woke up with pressure headaches yeah. from just... Exploding brain syndrome. Yeah, it was From awful. the sinuses. I, yeah. I, it was started in my dream, and then I woke up going, why does my head feel like it's so full of liquid that it's about to combust. It was horrible. So yeah, that was less than pleasant. It's been very rainy this year. I Already. Yeah. I still think that the old average was three to five inches a year. Mm -hmm. And we're well beyond that this year. Well beyond. So yeah. And you know, I mean, it's going to be nice because Usually in the summer months, it doesn't rain barely at all. So we'll see if it does or not. Yeah, it normally ends by June. 
and you only get a scattered, you know, thunderstorm yeah. here and there yeah. until September when the fair comes to town. And then, and then it rains all that week. Every day. And that's kind of our dry season. But, so we'll yeah. We'll see how it works this week. Uh, most of Oklahoma has always been classified as a desert because of less than three inches annual rainfall. It's just the ground's so full of clay that they can hold that three inches for ten years. And so, it, yeah, it's really a bizarre place. We love it. Don't we, honey? Yeah, yeah. What's amazing to me, though, is how similar it is to where I grew up in Indiana. I literally have it recorded that you said you love Oklahoma. I know, I know. And it will go out into the cloud. But did you hear what I said to justify it's that? Low, it's like, I, I, you know, that's not that smart. Yeah, it's so much like Indiana that... I, I gotta love it just out of nostalgia. I hear you. Alright. But it's no Wyoming. No. I do miss Northeastern Wyoming. We will be And I, I make it a point to say Northeastern because most of the time when you say Wyoming, people think of big mountains and tall trees and all of the wildlife. And yeah, that's not where I lived in Wyoming. No. No. It was flat, 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 and, and treeless. Fun. The biggest thing you found was sagebrush. And was about waist tall. Yeah. But so were the jackrabbits. Really jackrabbits okay. were waist tall? Yeah. Wow. Of course I was 11 years old. Oh, okay. Well, but the jackrabbits were waist tall when I was 11. They seem really tall. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. Well, let's put it this way. I've seen people go, hey, look at that deer. And you turn and look and go, no, that's a right jackrabbit. That's just a right one. Yeah. And they're like, what? And I'm like, well, it's, you know, a, a trick of the perspective and all the bushes are really little and the rabbits are um, kind of big gotcha. and, yeah so hopefully we'll get to see one while yep. we're out and about yep. in Yellowstone yep. I'm still looking for jackalope different kind of work, but we may do live videos that week I mean I'll probably bring my laptop but I doubt we'll have full-on Wi-Fi in the hotel so we'll see yeah. we'll, we'll start doing live videos if we are not getting what we need so that week might be a little rough, so hopefully you guys will be patient with us. But I would really It'll love, be worth it because yeah. it'll probably come back with some pretty good footage. I feel like we will. I mean, I I don't know about you guys. I don't know how much you really liked the Australia week that we were gone. But going back and looking at that week makes me so happy. Yeah, it makes my, uh, my heart sink to watch same. those... those uh, Oceans and, and all the beaches that we went to. And, well, Even the, the kangaroo time. I, I miss the magpies and the kangaroos. They were so good. The only thing I am so sad that we did not get was we did not get the sound of that screaming crow-like creature yeah. that sounded like a baby crying. Yeah. It was so creepy and great all at the same time. Yeah. It was quite amazing. Yeah. And it was everywhere we went and I could the moment that I turned the video on it went quiet. And I was like, Gah! Every time. Every time. It was, and it was, it was at least like 10 a running times that joke tried. Yeah. that the birds were playing on her. Yeah, it, was it was hilarious. It was because they would scream for 30 minutes and she'd be like, okay, this will be the time. Finally, this and turn it on and we nope. wouldn't hear another sound. Nope. It's like they were uh, triggered by the phone or something. I don't know. Yeah, it was crazy. But, but it was. I really enjoyed beautiful. having that available to me. It makes me happy. So. We will be doing that in Yellowstone and we will be taking video, most likely live, just because that's the easiest way to get it out there and not have to use up my history. Because otherwise and, and, I'll have nothing left on my And my wife keeps saying Yellowstone, but we have three stops, man. Well, I mean, we do. but And I haven't been to any of them, but you said we'd only be at Mount Rushmore for an hour. Yep. And that Devil's Tower will we'll be, be a there. day. Yep. And then everything else will be Yellowstone, right? Yep. Okay, well, that's... Or the Grand Tetons. We might go down that way. Depends okay. on what we're doing. Depends on how much, how far uh, we go in and all that. It's just, um, those people in, from that part of the country, the Black Hills are so gorgeous. It's just, from, yeah, the Black Hills all the way up to, you know, the Yellowstone and the Rockies and everything in between. It's just so diverse and beautiful that, yeah. And, and... Devil's Tower holds a special place in my heart because I grew up out in the country in the middle of nowhere, a little place 12 miles from Rosette, which is halfway between Moorcroft and Gillette, for anybody who knows where that area is, but you can see Devil's Tower from our house. That's so cool. 
growing up. So every day I would turn and look at it. And then of course, you know, Close Encounters, film there. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I was living out there then. You were? Yeah. Did you see them filming? No, but we, we heard the rumors and, 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 and all the scuttlebutt about what was just happening 70 miles away they were filming. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. cool. So, yeah, it was pretty crazy. I think that's why I like the movie Twister so much, too. Because it's all, it's, it's, it's my, all filmed here. It's yeah. all filmed here. And it's got our, um, uh, what are they called? Um, storm chasers, our um, weathermen, yep. all the people that we see normally every day, except yep. for Gary England because he retired. But yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, yeah, it was, uh, it's you really cool. should have sold storm, storm shelters. That would have made more sense. I think he does heating and air. I mean, I guess it's better than an all, all boy from the Broncos uh, selling garages. Yeah. Anywho, so we're we excited. Digress. It's next month. I mean, obviously it's going to happen, so. Yep. People don't know where we live. I'm not going to worry too much about that. Well, well, we have house sitters too, so. No, we don't. Oh, yeah, we do. Oh, we do. All right. We're taking so. care of it. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Have a great Monday. See you later.